Monday, January 2nd, 2023, and this is a New Year's edition of Cafe Devo. Thanks for joining me. I'm Pastor Steve Wood. That's my pal Bugsy hanging out over there where he usually does, and I hope your Monday is going well. We're coming to you directly from First Congregational Church here in the heart of beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan, and we're turning once again to the second edition of the book, Truth for Life. It was written by Pastor Alistair Begg and is copyright 2022, Good Book Publishing. Luke 7, 16, a great prophet has risen among us. By nature, we do not see any beauty in Jesus. Of our own accord, we do not declare that Jesus is wonderful and Jesus is beautiful, that Jesus is incomparable. Left to ourselves, in our flesh, we are in utter darkness, having rejected what God made obvious to us. Spiritual darkness, noted the 17th century Puritan Thomas Watson, is worse than natural darkness. Yet natural darkness affrights, whereas spiritual darkness is not accompanied with horror. And people tremble not at their condition, nay, they like their condition well enough. (laughs) We love darkness rather than light because the inclination of our hearts in the natural state is evil. John 3, 19 and 20. Is there any light for our darkness? Is there any freedom from our bondage to self? The answer, of course, is an emphatic yes, namely in the person of Jesus Christ. And as we consider how it is that Christ brings light and life by God's grace, we are moved all over again to praise him as wonderful, as beautiful, as incomparable. Consider, for example, how Jesus is the greatest and final prophet. Hebrews 1, 1 through 3. God's sending of his prophets and finally his son represented an implicit, an implicit judgment on us, since it is our shortcomings that made the prophets necessary. We are by nature ignorant of God. We need divine help in order to grasp life's most important truths. Old Testament prophets were anointed and sent by God to speak into the people's ignorance and blindness. These prophets, however, only spoke the word of God. When God came to us in the person of Jesus, he came as the word of God, to speak into our ignorance, to unstop our deaf ears, and to open our blind eyes. Here is the greatest of the prophets. We find in the Gospels that as Jesus began his earthly ministry, he was almost immediately viewed as a prophet. So it was that following the raising of the widow of Nain's son, the people responded, a great prophet has risen among us. In the same way, in John 6, when 5,000 were fed, the response was, this is indeed the prophet who has come into the world, John 6, 14. In fact, Jesus himself acknowledged this role in Luke 4 when he pointed out in Nazareth that no prophet is acceptable in his hometown, Luke 4, 24. Jesus came as the very word of God, the fulfillment of it. And so in him, the prophetic word has found fulfillment. And in him, we discover the ultimate expression of truth. The truth contained not only in his teaching, but also in his person. We need Jesus to teach our hearts, to dispel our darkness, to reach us in a way that no one else can. Until he teaches us, we will never learn about him. Until we see him as the word of God, we will never be wise for salvation. But when this greatest of the prophets speaks truth in our hearts, we say, This is truth, and we praise the one who is truth as our wonderful, beautiful, incomparable teacher and Savior. For more on this, read the book of 2 Peter, chapter 1, 16 through 21. 
Father, we thank you that you are the culmination of the prophetic work. You came and fulfilled the word. Whereas the prophets spoke the word, you are the word. And so we lift you up and praise you today, Lord, and thank you for that. Thank you that you allow us to know you. Now bless us today, Father. We're grateful for the day you've given us and ask you to redeem it for your purpose and use us as you choose. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, hey, that's going to do it for us on this Monday edition of Cafe Devo. I hope your new year is off to a great start and that you're already saying 2023 instead of 2022. (laughs) Oh, well, we'll get it right eventually, won't we? I'm Pastor Steve Wood, and I'm out of here. That's my pal Bugsy over there. Thanks for joining us. God bless you all. And I'll